Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. Happy Opposite Day! Or should I say, Sad Opposite Day. As we all know, Opposite Day is the one day of the year where you do the opposite of what you usually do. I love Opposite Day, but I hate it too. It means I can't do what I usually do, and that means... I can't play video games. Opposite Day is the episode where Squidward tells Spongebob it's Opposite Day in an attempt to keep Spongebob quiet so Squidward can sell his house and move away. Like Nature Pants, this episode aired on September 11, 1999, and it's that episode where all the characters in this episode say they're Squidward. Even Squidward. This episode is another one of the many examples of that classic Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward dynamic, which is one of the many factors that make this show so memorable. Additionally, this is also the first time where Squidward himself tries to move away from Spongebob and Patrick, rather than telling Spongebob and or Patrick to move away. This also becomes a recurring theme throughout the series, whether Squidward tries to move away, or Spongebob and Patrick do. I have a lot of memories of this episode from when I was younger, which I'll get into later. I also heard more people talk about this episode as a whole, rather than just an image from the episode that spreads around like wildfire, which becomes the only thing people remember about that episode, like its sister episode, episode 18, Nature Pants. This episode does also have a scene that's popular on YouTube, but I've seen more people talk about more than just that from this episode. So let's watch this episode and see how memorable it actually is. So the episode starts up and it's early morning in Bikini Bottom. Squidward's sleeping when he hears snickering. Turns out Spongebob and Patrick threw a surprise birthday party for Squidward and sang to him during the whole party. After Spongebob and Patrick leave, Squidward screams out loud that it wasn't actually his birthday. It's not my birthday either. My birthday was supposed to happen earlier this year, but it got cancelled. Again. Squidward decides to move out of the neighborhood. He calls a real estate agent who says she can sell his home in a heartbeat as long as it's not plagued by nematodes or even bad neighbors. Squidward starts to get nervous when she mentions neighbors, especially since the real estate agent will come by the next day to look at the house. Squidward knew that whatever a good neighbor would do, Spongebob does the opposite, which gives him an idea. The next morning, Spongebob wakes up in surprise to Squidward playing a drum loudly, to which he breaks and says that it's just his wig case. I had no idea you could keep wigs in drums. I have a wig for my Halloween costume and know where to put it. Too bad I don't have a drum I can keep it in. Guess I'll keep it in there for now. There we go. Spongebob didn't know why Squidward was acting all goofy, but then Squidward said that it was opposite day and explained how opposite day is the one day of the year where you act different. Since Squidward's normally stuffy and boring, today he was silly and spontaneous. When Spongebob understood, he said he'd be quiet and out of the way since normally he's loud and annoying. He goes inside, and Squidward goes back inside his house to get ready to move. Then Spongebob tells Gary it's opposite day, and states he'll just stay in bed all day. Then he tells Gary to bark like a worm, the opposite of a snail. Then Patrick arrives, and Spongebob acts mean to him at first, which makes Patrick sad. Spongebob then explains the concept of opposite day to Patrick, and Patrick tries to not breathe at all, which makes him turn purple. You know, he makes a good point. I usually sit down while I watch Spongebob, but since it's opposite day, I guess I'll stand up while I watch this episode. Okay then. Spongebob clarifies to do things the wrong way, and then there's a montage where they do things like eat snail food, blow themselves and not bubbles, and speak backwards. Then Spongebob and Patrick decide to do some work around the house together. As Squidward is packing his stuff, he notices that Spongebob and Patrick destroyed Spongebob's house. Squidward is pissed, but Spongebob is blinded by the opposite day spirit. Squidward then tries to fix Spongebob's house before the real estate agent comes by. As he starts to rebuild it, Spongebob tries to figure out the situation. Regardless of the situation, I'm still going to bring up how Squidward's just rebuilding Spongebob's pineapple with tools and whatnot. It's a pineapple. But then again, it is opposite day and all, so whatever. Spongebob soon determines that Squidward fixing Spongebob's house means Squidward is being Spongebob, so Spongebob decides to be the opposite of Spongebob by being Squidward. Patrick wants to be opposite too, so Spongebob gives him a coral for a Squidward nose and Patrick is happy. I've always wondered this, but if Spongebob is the opposite of Squidward and vice versa, who is actually opposite of Patrick? 
SpongeBob tells Patrick to act like Squidward to be opposite too. Then they jump and sing again and go inside Squidward's house. As Squidward continues to fix SpongeBob's house, the real estate agent arrives. She meets SpongeBob, thinking he's the real Squidward. The real estate agent asks for positive things about the house, to which SpongeBob gives a negative description. Then he shows her the gallery, and Patrick scares her, and then they tell her that both of them are Mr. Squidward. Meanwhile, Squidward finished repairing SpongeBob's house and noticed that the real estate agent arrived. SpongeBob was playing Squidward's clarinet when the real Squidward barged in and said that he was the real Squidward, which pissed off the real estate agent so much since she thought that everybody had been messing with her, saying that they were Squidward. Even Gary was Squidward. I too am also Squidward. The real estate agent leaves, and no matter how much Squidward begged, she said that she would never sell Squidward's house. SpongeBob and Patrick said they hate Squidward, so Squidward decided to show them how much he hates them by chasing them with a bulldozer. SpongeBob asks Patrick if he thinks Squidward likes them too much, and the episode ends. Well, now the episode's over, but it's still opposite day, so I still have to stand. But I don't know how much longer I can last because my feet are really starting to hurt. So that was Opposite Day, and I think this is a great episode. There are so many funny scenes here that I always loved, such as that surprise birthday party that ends with Squidward screaming, IT'S NOT MY BIRTHDAY! I also loved when Patrick burst through the painting, scaring the shit out of the real estate agent, and that montage of Spongebob and Patrick being opposite. Fun fact, when Spongebob and Patrick talk backwards, their phrases are, Hey Patrick, I give up and to get to the opposite side. I remember when I learned it for the first time. Back in the early 2010s, an old friend of mine showed me this website called Spongepedia, which talked about all the episodes that were out at the time. It also showed some upcoming episodes, fan-made episode titles, and this was where I used to keep track of the SpongeBob DVDs. This was where I used to go all the time before 2011 when that same friend showed me Encyclopedia Spongebobia and I followed that site ever since. Anyway, this site initially explained what the characters were saying. Then I found a video online playing the clip normally and then reverse showing those exact phrases. It felt kind of surreal to learn what they were actually saying for the first time. I also remember when I was watching this episode on the season 1 DVD at my family's old vacation home. I would sometimes jump around with Patrick when he would sing and dance about him being a Squidward. Then when Spongebob started talking about acting like Squidward, I'd try to stay frozen in place and then start dancing again when Patrick did too. This was because the track that played in the background was one of my all time favorite Spongebob tracks and I always loved hearing it whenever it played in an episode. This track is called 12th Street Rag and is one of the few tracks to be featured in every season of the show. My best friend of all time loves this episode almost as much as I do, especially for this scene and a couple others. He never did this kind of sh** like I did, but we always love talking about this episode. I also had one of those kicks where I would watch this episode constantly on my phone or just random clips on YouTube. I'll admit that kick was rather short lived, but that still doesn't change how much I love the episode. I will say I have a couple things I always wondered about the episode. When Spongebob thought Squidward was being the opposite of Squidward, meaning Spongebob, and Spongebob tried to be Squidward as a result, and Patrick wanted to be opposite too, I kinda thought the opposite of Patrick was actually somebody other than Squidward. Squidward never tried to fix Patrick's house like he did with Spongebob's, and since they never directly stated that Squidward was the opposite of Patrick too, it made me think somebody else would be the opposite of Patrick. Either way, I still love Patrick dancing and singing, I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, so I guess it doesn't matter. Also, Squidward rebuilt Spongebob's house like a regular house, but in episode 11, Home Sweet Pineapple, Spongebob's house was shown as an actual pineapple, not a manually constructed house that looks like a pineapple. But like I said, this episode does take place on opposite day, so there's that. Okay, my feet are killing me. I have to sit down now. Oh, that's better. Now with all that out of the way, I have to go back to continue talking about the funny parts. If it wasn't already obvious, I love Spongebob and Patrick dancing around and singing, I'm Squidward. Another great part was Squidward acting silly and when he breaks the drum and says it's his wig case. Squidward's go jump off a cliff line always got a small laugh out of me too. 
I also love when Spongebob was talking and acting like Squidward around the real estate agent, and when the real estate agent snaps about everybody being Squidward. The ending with the bulldozer was pretty funny too, but I'd argue that the other part I liked the most was when Gary had a pickle as a nose and went, Meow. That Squidward-like meow makes me laugh every time I see it. This episode pulls off the Spongebob, Patrick, and Squidward dynamic pretty well here too, just like every other episode that's done that up to this point. Specifically, episodes 4, Bubble Stand, 6, Jellyfishing, and 8, Naughty Nautical Neighbors. But I'd also say that this episode does that as a whole better than Jellyfishing in my opinion. Things do happen to Squidward in both episodes, but I'd argue Opposite Day has a slightly better ending than Jellyfishing. I also thought Opposite Day was a little more consistently good throughout compared to Jellyfishing. I often talked about this episode more than Jellyfishing, even as a kid, so looking at this critically, I'd say this episode is better than Jellyfishing. In conclusion, I think this episode is really funny. There's some awesome moments throughout, the animation and the music are both great, and this episode does show off that Squidward moving away dynamic for the first time in an awesome way. And all of that and more is why I will always enjoy coming back to this episode, and I know there are some fans out there who will agree with me. Opposite Day is a great episode. It's so funny and has some awesome moments spread throughout the entire episode. The dynamics and tropes used here are played out really well for the most part, and it's just another example of this show in its prime. And yes, even though today's Opposite Day, everything I just said about the episode is still accurate to how I actually feel about this episode. Even Opposite Day won't change how I feel or talk about a Spongebob episode, but it's still Opposite Day, and I still need to do something opposite compared to what I usually do. Oh, I know. <gasps> well, that won't work either.